fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zealot, and we're here today doing the ultimate Iron Man competition. Uh, it is a YouTuber's competition uh, with people from all over the world um, competing. This is kind of the test season for the ultimate Iron Man and I'm one of the official competitors for this season. Um, so last episode, we were we went to the asteroid field. And here, let's log back in here. Um, and I decided to look for Neo. Like, there's supposed to be a bunch of stuff in this asteroid foil. Well, I did. I was successful in finding one thing. And what I did is, uh, I didn't spend a lot of time. I think I've spent about, I think I was flying around for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. And then I found the one thing and I was like, ah, you know what? I'm not going to push my luck. Let's just sit here and I'll just probably mine this hand bomb it um unfortunately if i had my this with all of its drills that thing of neo would be gone in a heartbeat but we're gonna have to hand bomb it so um let's find it here it's up so what i did to, to find it so i made a marker basically at zero 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 on the map so if we go into the map you can see my marker there at zero zero zero, uh, which is basically, in my opinion, would be like the center, the dead center, right? So, and I figure that if I go out about five and a half clicks or so, five, five and a half, six clicks out and just circle at a level plane, so I go... I flew, I, I leveled off and I flew out, you know, five and a half kilometers or whatever, and then started just flying and keeping the marker on my uh, port side at the same, the, the, you, could, you can see where the marker flag is on your screen the whole time, right? So you just by where I usually had it, you know, somewhere, wherever it was. Somewhere around there. And... I could keep it at that and stay pretty much consistent going at about five and a half kilometers around in a circle. And after about 10 minutes, I was substantially, actually, if, if you look, I am quite a bit lower. So when we level off, I, I came up quite a bit now, but I barely noticed it, to tell you the truth. I've, I've come up about half a kilometer now. But I'm flying along and all of a sudden it was just like a, a click a little blip on the screen and then gone. It was like boop, boop, like right on top of me. I'm like, what What the hell? What the, What was that? I'm like, well, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I finally, and I'm like, because I, I was still too far away, it blipped out and I couldn't see it. And, and finally I'm like looking around, looking around, and I could just barely make out the the coloring from a distance because you can actually see it from further off than when the name appears. So I actually spotted the actual veins of Neo. And I'm like, oh, is that it? And as I got closer, sure enough. So sweet. Let's let's mine this. Um unfortunately I'm gonna have to hand bomb it, but we'll just get really close to it with the uh, CV then. And you know what, this is, I got pretty lucky finding this, I think, in, in like 10, 15 minutes, whatever it took. Um, yeah, let's just get real close to it. Or, or, you know, bash into it, like I just did. So, yeah. Um, and then we can just jump out. And, oh, I'm kind of hungry. Let's deal with that. We're going to the food processor. 
it's nice having a CV right beside you yeah, if you are going to hand bomb at least. So, you know, we have pretty much the smorgasbord of whatever we want. We could even make a pizza if we wanted. You know what? We're going to make a pizza, damn it. Out in space. Space pizza. Well, we mine. Because I... Whatever. Don't judge me. Okay. Um, let's mine. So I can just stay in the doorway here and be fully protected and and leech off the oxygen of the CV, which I think is more efficient. I'm not 100% sure on that. If somebody could actually verify that for me. Um, I've heard that using a CV or a base uses less oxygen than if you're out in space with just your suit. So, I don't know. I, I haven't really tested it um so meh <laughs> i think it's ne negligible either way once you're out in space you probably got enough air you better uh let's check our pizza maybe it's done i yammered so much now i'm really hungry come on gimme 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 pizza nom nom nice okay well, let's get mining. We've got our drill uh, with like 31 charges. That's pretty epic. And so all I got to do now is just oh, come on, just come on. I know, I know you're fine with this because there you go. Uh, okay. Well. Drill, get our radar back just in case. So this is awesome. This will give us a nice chunk of Neo now. This will be good. I do have Sap, plus I've got a bunch of... Um, I've got that deconstructor if I set up a base. And to tell you the truth, if you look at where this is, I just want to point out how I want to do a base in space instead of on a planet. For starters, a, a space base, you don't get drone attacks. Um, a space base, you can have the your solar panels always facing the sun 24 hours a day. Um, and the closer you are to the sun, the stronger the electrical current that you're getting from your panels. So right now this Gornami, Gornamnal, Gornamnal, Gornamnal is pretty good looking. But the thing is, is this asteroid field is pretty darn close to the sun too. If you look at the orbit of Gornamnal, um, it's not much closer to the sun than this asteroid field. This asteroid field, I can get to everything except for the starting planet with one jump right now. So I'm thinking I want to set up an actual base here in this asteroid field. I know it sounds ridiculous. There's no supporting infrastructure for water but I could potentially get water from you know these other places um, the thing about it is being close to the sun it'll be completely energy wise self-sufficient and and it's kind of like one jump to anything at this point one jump and I'm back to the asteroid field. One one jump and I'm back to the asteroid field. I'm kind of liking the sound of that. There is no trading outpost in the asteroid field, unfortunately. And once I've mined out the asteroids, they will be gone because I'm pretty sure they do not respawn in single player unless you've speci specified that in, in a custom options, game options channel or something. But, um, you know, because 
how the how it's generically made right now. If you ran how they do their their generically built scenarios. Now I'm not saying this is how know it all DM built this scenario. I'm just saying how generically built scenarios are is is uh Crap. No? Okay. Oh. God, that was like... <laughs> so I completely... Uh, I just... I thought it was a red arrow. And... Because remember, I'm still... I'm in a competition. <laughs> and I can't die. Even though... Uh, even though I feel a lot safer doing this in my CV, let me tell you. Let me tell you, because, oh, you know what? I should put those, um, while we're out here, I should put those, uh, the sentry guns on this, eh? And then, uh, then I don't have to worry about it when I'm coming down landing, I think. Yeah, we'll have to make sure to put those sentry guns on. So let's just tidy up this. I'll put the sentry guns on. Um... Uh, and then we'll head down, we'll head to, back to Strenuous, and we gotta do, um, you know, start getting our crap together, and potentially, um, find the next mission POI, and, and come up with a strategy for it, so, we gotta find it first, we haven't even landed on the planet yet, so, pretty sad. What did that little patch give us? 131? That's not bad. That's not bad. That's 260. So, yeah, I'm going to cut the video here and I'm just going to continue to hand bomb this thing. And I'm going to I'm gonna actually mine it right out. I have a T2 drill. It's not that bad. I've, I've done this before. I find it actually, you know what? It's almost like it's almost like modern day fishing and it sounds ridiculous I know because it's not you don't get the thrill of catching a fish on your line but what you do get is the tranquility and trust me I've spent I've spent many hundreds of hours fishing so I know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the tranquility feeling of it and it's very similar I get a very similar sort of um, it's almost like a meditative state. Just, it's like a relaxed... Mining is very relaxing in this game, especially in space. And when you got, when you're just kind of hovering inside your CV, hand bombing, it's, you know, you know, there's not a lot to worry about. I'm not necessarily going to suffocate. I've, you know, got lots of oxygen and fuel and tons of food and Lots of ammo, and unless unless a CV comes by, there is no way I'm gonna die out here. Or, which is more plausible, is me as a person. I get a little too relaxed doing this, and I fall asleep, and my avatar starves to death. Um, sadly, <laughs> I'm actually speaking from experience. I haven't done that yet in an Iron Man. Thank God. I think it's because I'm still, when you're, when you're actually do, when I'm actually playing the Iron Man scenario, playing, playing my, my, you know, it's like die and, and you're out. You gotta stay in the sort of semi hyper vigilant state all the time. Like, like even though this is tranquil to me, this is not as tranquil as if I wasn't playing <laughs> the Iron Man scenario. It's not. I'm not that tranquilized right now. Put it that way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna finish this off, and we'll. We'll, um, then we'll mount the guns and warp over to the planet and take a look. So, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a bit.
Okay, so as you can see, I have mined it out. And then I just uh, went and renamed it to done. Or, well, put a, put a marker on it called done, which overrides the name of it. So, you know, if I spot it from a distance, if I'm flying around again, I'm like, oh, oh, it's done. Okay, so I'm not going to continue to look around in this. Um, oh, God, it almost looks like that's a Prometheum over there, but it's not. It's just, it's just an asteroid. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's just go. We're going. That's it. We're out of here. Let's head back. We gotta, we gotta head back to Stranus. Um, if I do make a base... I think it might be another little temporary one. We, we need to get more Pentaxid uh, before we can start thinking about a centralized one right now. I got to keep, I got to think about getting the mission done. So this isn't a playthrough. This is a competition, but it's also a test, but I still got to follow the rules and I don't want to screw up and uh, not be able to get my mission done before the due date so yeah we're gonna head there and head back to strenuous This is the one with the trader station in it that uh, I can I can do a little bit of trading with them anyway. Uh, but today, I think what we want to do I don't see any. This is probably fine, like right here. Where are we? Seven thousand meters, seven clicks out from the planet. Um, I think we're going to get out, or you know what, uh, should we go to the trade station? That's usually, isn't, isn't like freighters go to the trade station? But I think it doesn't matter because as soon as we had hit the planet, the, uh, orbit's going to unload anyway. So it's not like a freighter's going to come and blow up the play field or the, the CV inside of a play field that's not loaded, right? So, yeah. It's probably a moot point. Let's, I guess we can level off, just, you know, why not? And then we can shut the engines off. Yeah, I guess we can shut the drills off too. Hell, we can shut the lights off. Don't got any signals. Okay, well, we got 91 hours. Doesn't even matter if I set this my host spawn, if I if I die, well, we do want to continue on. We want to encourage everyone to continue on after they die to keep playing it to, to help test. So um, if that's the case, I'm sure, just in case I do die, right? I'll be out of the competition, but I'll still follow along to help test. Okay. Um, Let's get out and get down to the planet. Okay, and you can see it's slowly warming up. If those of the those of you that didn't know, um, I don't know, but some people weren't really aware that since like Alpha Six, once your vehicle was out in space and you turned it off, it slowly got cold to the temperature of what it is in space, and then it takes a while to warm up. See, it's still it's only warmed up like thirty five degrees, so. 
let's say the space is like really freaking cold, 200 degrees or something. And you think that you're going to be okay by just whipping out, jumping in your vehicle, turning it on, and you're going to survive. Well, no. I mean, it's going to take forever. You can see it hasn't even got to room temperature yet. So keep that in mind. The colder it is outside, the longer it takes to heat up to a comfortable spot where your armor is going to be able to handle it. So that's just something that can come that can bite you if you're not aware of it. You know what? We should have made some ammo. Did you see that? I had 18 missiles? That's not cool. What, 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 what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Or rockets, I should say. Homing rockets. Okay. Just, uh, we don't need many. We don't need many. This will be Whip these up super quick. Okay. Should have enough. Oh yeah, I've got lots of powder even. So yeah, we uh, uh, got just. Well, we got one. One and a half stacks of Neo out of that little turn into like 3,000 ingots, which is great. Uh, okay, so let's make some missiles, or rockets, I should say. And they are the 135H MSLs. All right, we'll take the electronics. Magnesium, promethium for the homing one. Let me just confirm. 135 HMSL, yes. Okay. Okay, so if we we get seven, so if we just make ten really quick, that'll give us seventy, which should give us enough to deal with something if we need to. Um what else did I have in here? I had a few thousand rounds. It should be fine. Well, this is more for exploration than anything. I want to try and find uh, the mission POI. Or at least I'm really hoping to find the mission POI. Okay. See, this is where a little bit faster construction speed <laughs> at this point in the game it, it doesn't make it any harder it's just more grindy but I get it I get why they just want hard everything sure it can make a little bit of a difference right at the beginning in survival state when you need to make some oxygen or food or something or a med that you're dying dying from the condition uh, speaking of food we need to grab some that was derped we'll grab the all the energy bars I guess let's we can eat some salami right now Okay, so what do we got on us? We've got one drill that has, that's really beat up. You know what, we should grab the other one. I don't know why I didn't. Where did I put that? Is that like... No. All right, that's for sale. And then that's the blocks. Okay. Yeah, I can make a base, a pretty nice base at this point. I've got some good stuff. So, uh, come on, where is it? There it is. Okay. I just wanted to grab my extra drill because I don't think, uh, 
I don't think that one's going to last. Because everything's on on hard, um, everything degrades a lot faster, right? So you got to, th that is something you got to actually be aware of. And yeah, absolutely, environmental effects do impact the difficulty of the game. Absolutely. Okay. Um, oh, did we pick them up? Yep, we got enough. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Jump in. Come on. Jump on. Come on. There we go. Stuff in the fridge. And that in. And we should fill that. We'll fill that. Oh, probably too much to, or not enough to put a whole container in. And where is it? There. Okay. Okay. We're ready to rock and roll. So I'll probably off camera fly around the orbit here because it's got tons of stuff. It's got magnesium, neo, promethium, iron, copper, silicone. I think I want to kind of grab all of that because that's asteroids are really large, right? You get a lot, like, you know, I got 1500 neo from that one, right? So. Yeah. Okay. We're going to come down over top of the water. Did I not turn the oxygen on in this thing? Why did I not do that? Okay. Whatever. We're fine. I've got a station actually inside the compartment there if I need to top up my suit, so. Okay, exciting. You know what? We never did go to the moon on the starter, did we? We we so this is like the first re-entry into a planet. <laughs> Period. Let's just level off really quick and we're going to spin around there's crap behind us by the look of it or at least the radar is telling us that oh purdy so this is this looks like the typical new arid style planet with uh, oasises beside lakes right yeah just trying to uh, oh magnesium nice a medium one that should be nice the other thing too is I want to scout out a, some some spots first before bringing the CV down uh, with the drilling HV. The drill HV will just eat up these deposits super fast. Super fast. But I don't want to get get some locking frames. Um I just want to be careful of uh, patrol vessel if I bring down my capital vessel. Because some of the patrol vessels are really nasty. They have like, like, like plasma weapons and laser weapons, laser turrets and crap that they can shoot in atmosphere. Okay, why is it getting so jittery? Oh, what's over there? I see something. See something? What are you? What are you? Is that like a 
civil oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's why it's getting so jittery, because there was a whole bunch of stuff that had to spawn in. What the heck is this stuff here? Oh my goodness. Okay, that looks huge. That's not okay. Forget it. I won't say what else is going to say. Um, wow, what is this? What is this? A settlement? Okay. What is over there? I have never seen that. What is it? Trading station. Okay. And so that's another research site. Okay. Well, there's potentially some loot at these uh, civilian POIs that might come in handy. All the little bits of resources at this point help go towards bigger and better vehicles, really. Bases really don't take that much to resources if you're going to do a concrete blade base. It's, it's pretty minimal, really. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, we found the trading station. Uh, we still got a little bit of time here. Let's continue on. So, we'll follow our we'll go to the east. Or right, let's see which way we're we going. Okay, so we'll continue to the east. We also have north uh, radar activity too, so. just the one medium one is probably all we're gonna really need although you never know I don't know I don't know if we if we have to do some heavy rocket launch in the last mission uh, I can go through a lot of magnesium on a CV with four rocket launchers and four uh, rocket turrets let me frickin tell you smash POIs. I'm here to explore, okay? Today's a day of exploration. So south... No. Wait, why am I going south all of a sudden? That's stupid. Should I... Well, we'll come back come back and fill that in. We'll fill in the pole later. Let's, uh... Head this direction. Keep going east. We've got two hits to the east. And I see stuff down there. Okay, so what's going on then? What's going on? What's going on? Crash Sentinel front. Those are large, actually, those are large drones. I've got radar hits all around me. Do we kill 
the large drones? What do you think? Let's see how much it takes for six Gatling guns to, to kill large drones. Not too, too bad, obviously. Obviously more than just regular drones, but... But still... Handled. Shot and shoot down large drones. Oops, I wanted to loot the other one. Large plasma drones. Okay. Yeah, nice. So maybe I do want to build a base here just to farm drones. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Let's check. Here, let's just level off for a second. Let's check what this has here. It's got a bunch of iron, some cobalt, cobalt, uh, silicone, magnesium, neo, and um, and promethium. So, not too bad. It is sustainable in our suit. It's a large planet. Gravity of 1, atmospheric density of 1.1. We might want to find a place in the north to take over. We might actually want to farm this place for um, drones and then maybe just before doing the mission go pop the core on the the, the drone base <laughs> just just before you know just before doing the mission go go attack the drone base cuz you know uh hmm our sentinel we're yeah, we're still too much to the equator. I want to get a little focus over here. Hey! What are you? further down, and there we go, advanced vehicle core, nice. Okay. Okay, let's just head north here. Oh, sorry, the frame rates are dying on me as it's low. I don't know why the deco is killing me here. That makes no sense. There's not much to the deco. It's not like it's trees. Yeah. Okay. So we'll head east. Yeah, I've got a semi potato now in today's standards, so I am upgrading. I just gotta find the time. Hey, Promethium right there, just poof, undefended. Down the middle of nowhere, I can come back to that. I don't need the fuel necessarily right now, I'm not in need of it. Oops. I mean, yeah, I've got over 200 fusion cells at this point, so... to find it would be nice to find somewhere 
along the north that I can take over. I think. I don't necessarily want to promote drone base attacks. And I can take over a base and then go make a another base nearby as a decoy base. So that when I load in and it glitches out and they all are over top of it with their with their frickin' rockets and they smash most of the turrets down to obliterines before the turrets can actually start shooting, you know. What's this? That looks very cool. What is it? It's getting dark. Is that a base or a POI? It is residence. Okay. Why do I not recognize that? Let's come down and take a look. I think we're gonna land here and we're gonna finish the episode off. It's a large minigun. And let's um let's switch to some night oh that okay, residence, yeah, the small residence, okay. Well, we didn't find the mission POI. But I think we're going to stop here and we'll, um, I'm going to go around and search off camera and next episode I will show you what I find. Um, let's see what we can get off this guy. you know what might as well now that I'm here I'll land and I'll loot it it's not it's just gonna be crap it's nothing we're gonna really need uh, but it might be some stuff that we want <laughs> okay guys till next episode you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>